Why do we need to wear a seat belt in a car? Why does the car deploy an airbag during car crash? Yes, the obvious answer is that these are safety mechanisms to protect us in a car crash. And did you know a car is designed to crumple up to protect us when it crashes? But how? We already know these equations. Newton's second law, F equals ma. Force is mass times acceleration. But also, acceleration is the change in velocity divided by time. And don't forget, the delta sign here represents a change in a quantity. And momentum is equal to mass times velocity. With these three equations, we are going to find a new equation for force. First, make a substitution for acceleration. And now, if I bring the delta sign out here, does that look familiar to you? That's right, we can substitute mv for momentum. So this is a change in momentum over a certain amount of time, the time taken. This is a new equation we've derived for force. We tend to use a rearranged version of this equation writing it like this. Change in momentum is equal to force multiplied by the time of impact. And instead of referring to this as the change in momentum, we give it a special name, impulse. How does this equation explain the benefits of wearing a seatbelt, having an airbag, and having a crumple zone in a car's design? Let's look at this car colliding into a tree, bringing it to rest. Let's say the change in momentum after this crash is 16,000 kilograms meters per second. If the time of impact is just 2 seconds, then the force is calculated to be 8,000 newtons. If I can somehow increase the time of impact to 8 seconds, then the collision force is reduced to 2,000 newtons. I'm not sure about you, but being hit with a force of 2,000 newtons rather than 8,000 newtons sounds like the lesser of two evils. We can say that for the same change in momentum, or impulse, a large contact time yields a small collision force. And how can we achieve this practically? A car needs a crumple zone that crushes and maintains contact with the tree during a crash. We shouldn't design a car that rebounds the moment it hits an obstacle, because that will minimize the contact time. Likewise, a seatbelt stretches and an airbag cushions your head. They increase the time taken for the body's momentum to reach zero, and so reduces the forces on your body. Thanks for watching my video, and if you think you learned something from it, be sure to subscribe!